Hey everybody, it's Renee from Tailspin Farm and I am hopping on today to do a spinning demonstration. Um, Aaron over at Crafty House of Yarns has asked that I do some Angora yarn spinning with my Monarch and I thought I'd show that to you today. Um, I am a long time spinner. I started out on a drop spindle. I was trying to remember what year that was. I think, if I remember right, it was 2005 somewhere around there, 2004 to 2006, is when I took a drop spindle class, fell in love with the idea of making my own yarn. I was a crocheter at that point, and set out on a mission over the next year to find small acreage fiber animals and get a spinning wheel, which I did. Um, we ended up uh, I believe in 2007, getting two French Angora rabbits, rabbits, which started our journey, my journey, um, and I've raised them ever since. And <clears throat> about, I, I drop spindled with Angora for a time period, and I think within the next year, I got a spinning wheel. And I started off um, at that time the internet was nothing what it is today. So there wasn't uh, YouTube channels and videos and a how-to. So I am self-taught um, on my wheel. And um, at that time, there just wasn't the... the um, Ashford was all I knew. I knew there were other... Uh, big names in spinning wheels, but the Ashford one was the one that kept coming up continuously that I could get here easily. And so they are made in New Zealand, New Zealand, I believe. Um, I might be wrong on that, but I think the Ashford comes out of New Zealand. Um, and so I had an Ashford Traveler and I added an Ashford Kiwi along the way. And so those have been my go-to wheels. Um, up until the last couple years, a uh, few years here, a spinolution has come around. And this fall, I finally got one. Um, so I say that, I say all of that to say, um, Angora spinning on this, I did not just hop on this and start spinning my Angora. Um, it is a very different wheel than my Ashford Traveler in a good way. Um, when they say that these are production wheels, they're not kidding. I mean, the spinning on these are just amazing. And so um, I'm gonna change the angle on the camera and let you see. I am working with um, my bucket. This is a big bucket of fiber. This is all combed from two of my rabbits. They are a mother-daughter, um, about the same color and so I just combined their fibers so I'm gonna be working straight from that and this is all combed off from them so it is very raw I didn't even card this typically if I've combed the fiber I do not card it um, I will card the fiber if I um, clip it and typically I only clip fibers in the summer um, I prefer using combed fiber um, so that's how I spin um, again, I am not professionally trained or I did not take classes to learn how to do this. So um, the way I spin is the way I spin. It's just how I picked it up. Um, as you can hear my voice, I am still battling some uh, post side effects of the virus that's going around. So um, that's why I put off doing these. I've got three or four videos that I, I need to make, but I just haven't been feeling up to it lately. Um, I am getting there. So I thought I'd start today with this one and um, just show you kind of how the Monarch spins up um, Angora yarn. I got the Monarch wheel because um, it was recommended to me by Erin at Crafty Housewife Yarns because I told her I mainly spin Angora yarn. Um, probably 80% of my spinning is Angora. But I also enjoy um, getting different fibers or whatever and spinning different things. Um, and so this was the one, the Monarch is what she recommended for the variants of different fibers and different, um, you know, different spin on all of them. I am working on um, Spin Her Free for the month of January. It's a uh, um, 
oh, we're collecting money or they're, they're trying to get money for this. It's a spin along for Spin Her Free. And so I've been working on um, different yarns that I am working on. I've got this one, which is, um, this is one strand of alpaca and one strand of, and it slipped my mind, it was the January braid for Crafty Housewife Yarns. And it'll come to me in a minute, but, um, so this was one of them, and I had to chuckle when I was doing this because I am infamous for overpacking my bobbins. That's, um, my Ashford Traveler has a two ounce bobbin. Um, I upgraded the bobbin in this. I think this is the eight ounce, and then I got, did I get the eight and the 16 ounce bobbins? So I have the 16 ounce um, spinning, um, sorry, my brain is, not functioning the way it did previously. So I have both the eight ounces and the 16 ounce, and I'm like, oh no, I don't need that bigger bobbin. I can just, you know, get it all on here. I barely, I chuck fold this bobbin. Um, so I was laughing at myself the other day because back to my old tricks. Um, but next time I know that I will put the new, um, the different bobbin and the head on this wheel to, to get the bigger bobbin. So this turned out really beautiful. And then also I did, um, and this is the Nitty Naughty for my wheel. And I also did this. So these two skeins are ready to be uh, soaked and um, skeined up. So I'm, I need to pull those off today too. So I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna switch so you guys can see what I'm doing, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and hopefully you can see here, um, I have my wheel all ready to go, and I am, you can see there where my band is. Um, I have, this uh, band is on the um, second notch of the whirl, and then um, my tension over here is pretty tight. So I am almost, I have a little tension knob back over here and that is um, almost completely tightened down, not quite. So I'm on the second ring of my um, whirl and that tension is tight. So that is how I'm spinning today. The one thing I get in trouble with, um, with this, this wheel and probably all the spin illusion wheels is it is so easy to spin that I get going really quickly and then I end up over spinning my yarn. So I'm working on that. Um, I just have to concentrate a little bit harder. It's not a bad problem to have because again, these, these skeins that I put together this week, I am doing entire skeins within a short period of time. Um, before I forget, I wanted to show you this too. My daughter-in-law made this beautiful shawl. She dyed all the yarn for it. Um, and made it for me for Christmas and I'm just loving it today because it's like five degrees in Michigan So I am toasty warm. This is a um, Tony Lipsy pattern TLC yarn crafts. I cannot remember the name of it um, But you can find it. It's a triangular shawl um, And it is just gorgeous and, and the yarn she dyed uh, My daughter-in-law dyed turned out beautiful, too. So I love all these colors so I wanted to mention that too in case anybody asks so um, let's see, hopefully you, I think you're close enough, you can see. I take <clears throat> my carded fiber, and I don't, I never know which way this is going to come out inverted or not when you watch it, um, but I hold the fiber in my left hand, and I spin with my right. Um, I feel like that is left-handed knitting, but this is just how I, or I'm sorry, left-handed spinning, um. I've watched other people do it and they're doing it opposite, but again, you never know if the camera's been inverted and it just flips it that way or what it is. So I hold the fiber in my hand. Um, and again, this is just combed fiber. And I get my wheel started and I'm gonna have, you can see here, I've got some fiber sticking out. So I just kind of put these at an angle here and get the twist started. I am spinning this Angora a little bit thicker. Um, and um, thicker than I think most people typically think of spun angora as very okay so my battery died of course right in the middle of that um, and I think what I was saying 
is that I just have to be cautious with uh, my foot, my feet pedaling, um, because the Spinolution wheels are really amazing wheels. They're fast. Um, you can see that I am just working my two hands together and straightening out the fibers as I pull them along. And this is a, a really thick yarn, but it's, um, or a thick, this will be a single ply, but it is a little bit um, more than what I would typically spin Angora at. And I just work, work through the fiber in my hands and the wheel does the rest for me. Um, hopefully this color, I know it's hard, probably hard to see. Let me see if I can change the angle just a little bit here. Just there, we got a little bit closer. Whoops, now I'm moving the wheel. <laughs> and my two, my hands work together. Again, my left hand kind of, I don't let anything out of my left hand that I don't want to go into my right hand. Um, I, I am working the, the two fingers t together. And just spinning away. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how quick and easy um, spinning even Angora. Angora is considered uh, a luxury fiber. It's very slick. Um, and people struggle with spinning it. Again, I started drop spindling, and that's what I had, and that's what I used, and I I just um, haven't had issues. Although, like I said, when I first got this wheel, I had to slow down and and adjust tensions and things like that, and adjust my belt on my whirl to make sure I was not over spinning this. And when you get to clumps. I just kind of work those through with my fingers. And that's it. So you can see here, um, nice and consistent. Move you up a little bit more. Nice and consistent and spun. And um, with these big bobbins, definitely do not want to see me that close. With these big bobbins, you can fit a ton of Angora on these. Um, so I have right now, I've been grooming and I have multiple containers like this. This is just a peanut butter bucket. It works well because it has a lid. Um, Angora tends to do this uh, fly away thing. So that's why I like keeping that in, uh, in the buckets with lids. So I have quite a bit of Angora right now to spin. Um, I am guessing I am probably close to 10 ounces. And if you've not seen Angora, that should be a video I do because um, Angora is super lightweight. And so when you get five or 10 ounces of Angora, it's, I have two baskets downstairs that are like this big. So it is a lot of fiber. Um, so I will be working on that here the next couple weeks to get all that done because I am continuously grooming every week um, with my rabbits, and so I'm getting more and more every day. So I hope that video was helpful. If you have any questions, just pop them down below in the comment box, and I'd glad, I'll be glad to answer those for you. Um, I hope this helped you to see um, how different fibers can be spun and how amazing these wheels really are. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Bye.